If you'd like to connect your Elgato Wave 3 microphone to OBS, this is the tutorial to get started with. Now there's a number of system settings you're going to want to do to connect the mic to the Wavelink software to OBS and be able to properly pull in your music, your game audio, and all that other stuff that you're looking to mix using your Elgato Wave 3 and the Wavelink software. So my clients don't do a lot of these settings, and so I'm doing this tutorial to make sure you have a good foundation to connect Wavelink to OBS. Do this first, otherwise things could get messed up later. Got it? Great. So first things first, as you can see here in Wavelink, let's set the stage. I've got a microphone input, you're listening to it right now, and I've got an active any other input here. It's just an example, it's music with Spotify. All right, if you don't know how to do this, I've got a whole tutorial video series that teaches you how. We're past that now. We're to the point where we're looking to integrate this uh, Wavelink mix into a broadcasting software. So if you don't know how to do this first step, watch my other tutorials to do that. The settings we're gonna need to double check are best settings. It's really important. Go into Windows and type in the word sound down here, and you're gonna to wanna to pull up the sound settings menu. It'll pull up this menu right over here. And what you're gonna see under related settings here is the sound control panel. You're gonna to wanna to go to the sound control panel, and it'll pull up this pop-up window that you see right here. You can skip over the playback tab. That's not that important for this process, but you are gonna to wanna to go to the recording tab. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to double check all of your inputs here and make sure that the settings are correct. Right click, go to properties, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is go through and ensure that the enhancements are off on each input and that your default format that you've selected for each microphone is 24-bit 48,000 hertz. Got it? Why? Because we're gonna select that same setting in OBS so that your system settings and your OBS settings will link up properly when you're connecting those two things. Got it? Great. So those settings are correct here because I just did them a moment ago, but I had to fix them by the way. So you need to double check these. Take a look at your monitor mix as well. All right, right click properties to get here. Then we're gonna go to enhancements, make sure everything's off. We're gonna go to advanced. We're gonna make sure that we have that 24 bit, 48,000 Hertz studio quality. It's there, awesome. So we know that our settings are correct there. By the way, I had to fix that a moment ago, so it doesn't happen automatically. And then we're gonna right click and go look at our stream mix as well. Make sure we don't have any enhancements on. Make sure we go to advanced and we have the same setting. Got it? Once all those settings are in place, you can X out of all of these windows and you are in good shape. Cool? You can close out of the sound settings. Awesome. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go into OBS and make sure that, so we did Windows settings, now we need to do OBS's settings to make sure those match. So what you're gonna do in OBS is you're gonna click the settings menu here, and we're going to go to the audio section here on the right hand, on the left hand side, click the audio tab, and you'll see all these different audio settings in OBS. Notice how there's the option for 48,000 or 44.1 kilohertz, Okay, so it'll default to 44.1 for many of you. But as you saw in Windows settings, it's 48. So make sure you select the correct sample rate here. Otherwise, your audio can get desynced when you're recording and you're streaming, and it'll be really annoying. Awesome, I just saved you a headache. You're welcome. Then for all of your global audio devices right here, disable all of them because you're about to do a complex mixing solution bringing in Wavelink into OBS. So you don't want OBS automatically pulling in any devices. You wanna make the decision yourself on every single device that comes into OBS so nothing gets into feedback loops. You don't have mystery audio popping up out of nowhere. Trust me, disable everything so you can manually do it yourself. And once, you're, once you've completed that step, you hit apply. But wait, there's one bonus step that I want you to take to enhance your audio. Go to output, and then you need to change your output mode from simple to advanced. And regardless of what your recording settings and your streaming settings are going to be, we're gonna skip over that. I want you to go to the audio tab here, and I want you to increase your bit rate to the absolute maximum 
for every single channel. It'll default at 160. I want you to increase your bit rate on all of these channels to 320 to maximize your audio quality. Now, some streaming services will not accept a higher quality. That's fine. But for those of you doing recording and doing broadcasts, you can punch through a higher quality and it may downgrade you on those services, but at least you are pushing through the highest quality audio signal possible. This will literally mathematically double your audio bit rate, AKA your audio quality. Once you've completed that step, hit apply and now okay. So do you see what we just did? We fixed our settings in Windows to make sure they're correct and to make sure nothing is messing with your audio and you have the right sample rate. Then in OBS, we matched that sample rate. We disabled everything that could possibly pop in and mess up your audio and we doubled your quality in terms of audio quality with settings there. Got it? Awesome. Now I'm going to go over another couple basic settings for those of you that are looking for the best possible settings. Here we go. So the next part is you're probably going to want to add in either your microphone directly to OBS or you're going to want to bring in your entire stream mix from Wavelink into OBS. Those are your kind of two ways to bring in your microphone audio. Let me show you both methods and the settings that you're going to want to do for both. So what you do here, this, I'm just going to quickly do this. I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial on the channel later, so look for that. But what you're going to do is you're going to click sources and you're going to do audio input capture. Okay, and it's going to pull up this menu. And what I'm going to call this one is um, mic direct. And what that means is that we're essentially pulling in the microphone as an individual source here into our mix. And notice how there's the mic in right here. We're going to select that. So that's going to pull the audio from your Elgato Wave 3 mic directly into the software, not your entire stream mix that you may be mixing over here in Wavelink, just only the mic. Hit OK. Then once you have set that up and you see mic direct here in your audio mixer, what you're going to want to do there is there's a couple filters that can make the microphone sound significantly better. Um, so you're going to you're going to click on the gear cog next to that, go to filters and you're going to go to the plus button down here and you're going to select the first one. That's my favorite is noise suppression. Hit OK and just let the RN noise good quality noise filter hit that microphone. Love it. It's great. Can't get enough of it. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add another filter here, which is the limiter filter. Um, so what you're going to do is click the gear cog, click filters. Then you're going to go to the plus button and go to limiter. And what you're going to do with the limiter, you're going to hit OK, is you're going to set your limiter to negative 3 dB. What does this do? This makes it so that when you're too loud, let's say, for example, um, then it will stop you from blowing out the headphones of all the people that are listening to you. And it provides a good uh, limiting uh, feature uh, for your particular microphone. And then you have the option of adding a yet another filter to make it sound even better. And that's hitting the plus button and doing a compressor. And that will further compress your audio to increase the quality. And with the compressor, I like to bring that up to the middle layer. See how I just hit this up and down button? When I hit down, it moves the compressor down the list to the bottom. And when I hit the up button, it moves it up in the layers. So you, what you want, if you're going to put use all of these filters I'm suggesting, is noise suppression first, compressor next, limiter last. And then with your compressor settings, you should bring the ratio to four to one and you can leave all of the other settings the same just as a default setting. You can play with this as you see fit. So now you removed background noise, you compressed your audio to make it sound tight and you limited it so you don't blow anybody's head off. Got it? The last step that you need to be looking at here is making sure that your audio is not peaking when you get loud here. And earlier I saw it peaking toward the end of these bars here. Uh, so what I would do is I would bring my audio down here in OBS just a little bit and where you want it to sit is right here in between the yellow and the red, just getting toward negative five dB right here, but not exceeding that. And you can adjust your microphone volume right here so you're not peaking. Got it? Cool. That's how you add your mic directly, which is great. But wait, there's more. So that makes your mic enhanced, right? That makes your mic sound better. But some of you guys obviously don't want to add the mic directly to OBS. You're going to want to add your entire stream mix to OBS because you're mixing all your audio in Wavelink software, not wanting to mix your audio over in OBS. For those of you that want to do that, 
you are not going to use all of those filters I just told you about, okay? So we're gonna remove our mic direct source and I'm gonna show you how to add a stream mix over here and the best settings for that, okay? So what you're gonna do if you're bringing your entire stream mix over is you're gonna hit the plus button on source and you're gonna do audio input capture. And then you'll see this menu and I like to call it stream mix. This is the master mix of everything you're mixing over on Wavelink, everything there, got it? Hit okay. Now for this, we're gonna need to select that device specifically, which is Wavelink Stream. That's your stream mix. Hit okay. And then boom, it adds that source right here in OBS. Now we do not, when we click the gear cog here, we do not want to add uh, the noise suppression filter. Why? So if we added noise suppression filter, it'll suppress out everything but your vocals. If you're doing a stream mix option, you probably have more things than vocals. So don't add that filter. It'll filter out game audio, music, all that stuff that you're gonna want as a part of your mix. But the one filter I would recommend adding on your stream mix down here, let's hit the plus button, do add a limiter to this. And so why would you wanna do that? Just in case a source, your game audio spikes, your PowerPoint spikes, whatever it is spikes up to a high volume level, put a limiter here on this channel to negative three dB so you don't blow out the headphones of your listeners and it keeps everything nice and tight uh, within, the, um, within the limitations of most people's devices that they're listening. Cool, the next setting that you're gonna to wanna to take a look at here is notice when I'm talking, and notice how there's music playing back there. It's keeping the audio up. The audio is kind of low here. We should be here between the yellow and the red bar. How do we fix that? Well, the way that we fix that, best settings, is to turn up or turn down our different audio sources in Wavelink. So as you can see, my microphone audio is a little bit too low. So I'm gonna bump that up to maybe 65% versus 50. And then let's go take a look in OBS. Notice how the audio is a little bit higher now? Still not high enough. So we're gonna bump it up to maybe 80 and take a look. Ah, see now the audio is starting to look good in OBS. It's at about at the level that we want it to be. And now we want it between the yellow and the red here when we're looking at the monitors, but not exceeding negative five dB. Now you know you're at a good loud volume level. So no one that's listening to you will complain about low volume. Those are your best basic settings, just generally speaking, adding Wavelink to OBS and linking those two together. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the power of this digital mixer. I love it. See you in the next one.